so in this video i am going to edit 4k clips on my intel core i3 desktop now as you know that i have done such thing before and there exists a video on youtube about this thing but you know what the response of this video is extremely poor really i mean look at this thing it has got views which are good according to my channel and i mean there was uh, nothing like to say that this video is fake but you know what the comments tell me everything okay these comments are just waste but look at this person you know what this person is saying about me it's this it's this and i mean there are a lot of people which believe that this video is just not real and everything is kind of fake they don't believe in abs video editor and panzoid rendering so this time i cleared out some of the problems which people were thinking and so this time around i have this 4k recording which was taken from a smartphone as you can see as you can see and this is a real 4k file if i go into the details of this file as you can see it has a high bitrate and the dimensions of 4k and well now that is true 4k which i'm going to edit and for those people who are not believing me please believe now if you want to now also one thing that i will do this time around is that i will not use this avs video editor instead i will use sony vegas pro because that is an editor which people say is one of the best in the world and all that and lot of people use it and all that good stuff so i will be editing that 4k clip on a system sporting an intel core i3 using this editor sony vegas pro 13 okay now to prove that this computer has i3 look at this thing in the task manager i can clearly see it so now let us go on to the editing so now the video is loaded on the timeline and let us just hit play look at this thing the preview is so crappy <laughs> slow i mean look at that it is it is just uh, just horrible but i have set the quality to best quarter now i will set it to preview quarter the lowest possible preview quality and let us see how how will it go. oh my god that is bad that is literally very bad for all the video editors i can just start by saying from here only that well 4k editing is not possible on a core i3 yes that is the real thing and not this one is the real thing So did you see the preview? Oh man, that's horribly slow, literally. I mean, this PC is great for editing 1080p videos at such a scale. Look at this 4K preview. Even if it's at the lowest possible quality, it's still <laughs> very bad at that. So I don't think we need two minutes to render on this i3, as I know that it will be a hard time processing that. all those clip so i suppose we should reduce its length to this much yes this much looks fine yes this is what an i3 is actually capable of editing or say rendering okay now that is just there on the timeline now let us try hitting play that's literally 4 seconds of footage now we what i need to do is just put some effects on this thing 
and just put it on rendering and see how much time will it take I have disabled the sample as you can see okay so everybody says that the resampling reduces the quality so I have disabled it so okay now it's time for some effect putting hey what does it mean by effect putting anyways So now that's I think what people call video editing. Let us look at that crappy slow frame dropping preview once more. Man that was slow. That was literally slow. But now the time comes to render the clip. The video is rendered out now. It is this thing right here and it has a size of 22 MB. Now two things that I want to tell you are I myself reduced the duration of the clip to just 4 seconds because it was very heavy for an i3 to do that and also now I want to share with you the render times. Uh, to render out this 4 minute clip it needed 1 minute 40 seconds now you might be asking me why had I cut the screen recording at that time because you know what if I keep my screen recording on then the screen recording just consumes more CPU and does not allow the 4k clip to get rendered correctly and it makes it take a lot of time so now let us look at the clip So it is just like this, not something very special but yes at least i3 was able to render that but no. I do not recommend anyone to use an i3 and now that's the true thing. I do not recommend anyone to use i3 for editing on editing in 4k because well that honestly sucks really. The previews are so bad and the render times are so long that that just doesn't work for editors so okay then that's it for this video thank you for watching and goodbye